Good afternoon, dear children. I hope you are all keeping well and are safe. Today we will do a new topic in grammar, that is singular plural of nouns. Yes, dear children, you have already learnt it in the second and third standard. But today I am going to teach you how to make sentences into singular and plural after revising our old. singular and plural there are two types of nouns a noun that denotes one person place animal or thing is a singular noun for example bat leaf child baby and second one a noun that denotes more than one person place animal or thing is called a plural noun for example bats leaves children babies look at the picture and read the sentences given below a dog is playing with a ball in the second picture two dogs are playing with a ball In sentence one, the dog is a singular noun. Why? In sentence two, dogs is a plural noun. Now, children, let's learn how to form plural from singular nouns. There are various rules to change singular noun to plural noun. We will now learn some of these rules. Nouns that end in s, ss, sh, ch, and x form the plural by adding es to the singular noun. Here are some singular nouns with their plurals, like class, classes, bus, buses, church. Churches, address, addresses, box, boxes, catch, catches, dress, dresses, lunch, lunches, patch, patches, suffix, suffixes. Nouns ending in o form the plural by adding es to the singular nouns. Here are some of them: tomato, tomatoes, hero, heroes, potato, potatoes, mosquito, mosquitoes, mango, mangoes, echo, echoes, zero. zeros volcano volcanoes the nouns ending in y form their plural by changing y to i e s now here are some of the singular and their plural army armies city cities duty duties story stories activity activities pony ponies study studies berry berries here are some more baby baby lily lily fairy fairy fly flies library library theory theories some nouns ending in v change into plural by adding es here are some examples singular and plural calf calves knife knives there are exceptions 
If the final y comes just after a vowel, the plural is formed by simply adding s to the singular. Here are some examples: the singular noun and their plural. Boy, boys. Play, plays. Essay, essays. Monkey, monkeys. Play, plays. Toy, toys, ray, rays. Some nouns do not follow any of the rules given above, so we have to keep in mind their singular and plural form. For example, here are some of the singular and their plurals: foot, feet, tooth, teeth. Goose, geese, ox, oxen, mouse, mice, man, men, woman, woman. Some more. Ch child, children, fish, fish, deer, deer. Some nouns are always used in the plural form. For example, scissors, socks, trousers, etc. While some nouns have no plural form, so they are always used in the singular form. For example, news, furniture, advice, information, etc. Compound noun. Generally, form their plural by adding s to the main word. Here are some here are some examples of the singular and their plural. Son-in-law, son sons-in-law, daughter-in-law, daughters-in-law, stepson, stepsons, washerman, washermen. Maid servant, maid servants, passer by, passers by, mother-in-law, mothers-in-law. Hundred, dozen, thousand. When used after numbers, do not take the plural form. A man gave me two hundred rupees. She has ten rupee notes. I have two thousand rupees. Okay. While making sentences, the noun and the verb must agree with one another in number, that is singular or plural. So, if the noun is in the singular, its verb must also be singular. While making sentences, the noun and the verb must agree with one another in number. Singular or plural. So, if the noun is in the singular, its verb also must be in the singular. If a subject is plural, its verb also must be plural. Singular verbs go with singular nouns, and plural verbs go with plural nouns. Okay. While making sentences, the noun and the verb must agree with one another in number, that is singular or plural. So, if the noun is in the singular, its verb must also be singular. While making sentences, the noun and the verb must agree with one another in number, singular or plural. So, if the noun is in the singular. Its verb also must be in the singular. If a subject is plural, its verb also must be plural. Now let's understand it better by doing some exercise. Rewrite the following sentences from singular to plural. There is a cherry in my custard. There are cherries in my custard. The second sentence: The thief 
is chased by the policemen answer the thieves are chased by the policemen rewrite the following sentences from plural to singular number 1 the mice ate the cheese the answer the mouse ate the cheese sentence number 2 The children play every evening. Answer: The child plays every evening. Sentence number three: The men do their work well. The answer: The man does his work well. Change the singular sentences into a plural one. My sister works at school. answer my sisters work at school sentence number 2 i lost my book answer i lost my books sentence number 3 the student deserves an a answer the students deserve an a sentence number 4 what does he do answer what do they do change the following into singular nouns number 1 these oranges are sweet answer the orange is sweet sentence number 2 the boys are writing in their books answer the boy is writing in his book third sentence My sisters speak in English. Answer: My sister speaks in English. But there is always a case when plural nouns take plural verbs and singular noun take singular verbs like when there is a certain expression. The expressions are he sleeps She sleeps. It sleeps. I sleep. You sleep. Change these sentences from singular to plural. A leaf fell from the branch of a tree. Very good, Eden. The leaves fell from the branches of the tree. the second one the nurse carries a baby the nurses carry the baby the third sentence the child has a bad tooth good ducks the children have bad teeth the fourth sentence a lion eats flesh very good aiden lobo the lions eat flesh fifth sentence a sheep is grazing in the field good chandana the sheep are grazing in the field i live in a house near a lake answer i live in a house near a lake there is many car on the road answer there is a car on the road there are some water in the well there is some water in the well fourth sentence after some day raja came to school answer after some days raja came to school
द डोंकी इज कैरिंग द लोड आंसर द डोंकी इज कैरिंग द लोड Change the sentences from plural to singular. There are beautiful churches in our city. Good puni. There is a beautiful church in my city. The wolves kill the deer. Answer. A wolf kill the deer. The fox stole the geese. Answer: The fox stole a goose. The fourth sentence: The heroes rode on ponies. Answer: The hero rides on a pony. The oxen are grazing in the field. The ox is grazing in the field. Exercise four. underline the right word from the brackets number 1 several dish or dishes were broken answer dishes there are many flower flowers in this vase vases there are many flowers in this vase the third sentence a bird birds fly in the sky answer a bird flies in the sky sentence number 4 the fox foxes was hungry answer the fox was hungry sentence number 5 Your pencil pencil is very long. Answer Your pencil is very long. Hope you have understood the topic of singular and plural and when to change the sentences into singular or plural whenever required. Now sit back and complete your exercises. Stay home stay safe god bless thank you